My name is Anna Brooks. I am a senior at Conquer Carla High School, and today we're going to be talking about kindness and how to be a good friend. So, for those of you who don't know, this is the Crossroads YouTube channel. Crossroads is a part of the Intersections Club at Conquer Carla High School, and we want to teach everyone about kindness and how all of our identities overlap and how we all unite. So today we are going to start with what I feel is the most important lesson of all, and that is kindness in The Kindness Book by Todd Parr. What is kindness? Kindness is thinking about people's feelings and helping them feel good. Being kind makes you feel good, too. Kindness is reading a bedtime story to someone you love. Kindness is taking care of your community. Kindness is holding the door open for someone. Kindness is listening. And kindness is keeping others safe. Kindness is free. So amazing. Kindness is watching out for someone around you. And kindness is holding hands. Kindness is being there for someone who needs you. And kindness is taking care of yourself. Kindness is helping things grow. And kindness is saying something nice. Right here, they're saying, thank you for being my teacher. Kindness is not hurting someone's feelings. Right there, they're saying, your hair looks funny. And right here, it says, kindness is saying sorry. We're sorry. Let's be friends. Be kind to yourself. Kindness is remembering everyone's feelings are important. Kindness is welcoming someone new into the family. Kindness is giving a bug a hug. Kindness is saying hello to someone new. Kindness is saying thank you to those who help others. And kindness is, saying, is being nice to animals. Kindness is letting others be who they are. And kindness is cheering someone up when they are sad. It's easy to be kind. There are many ways to be kind. And don't forget to be kind to yourself. The end. Love, Todd. I love this book because it gives us all examples on how to be kind in everyday life. Can you guys think of ways that you can be more kind or ways that you're already being kind to the people around you? The next book we'll be reading is The Sandwich Swap by Kelly DiPuccio, illustrated by Tricia Tusa.
It all began with a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And it ended with a hummus sandwich. Selma and Lily were best friends at school. They drew pictures together. They played on the swings together. They jumped rope together. And they ate their lunches together. But just what they ate was a little bit different. Lily ate peanut, a peanut butter and jelly sandwich every day for lunch. And Selma ate hummus and pita sandwiches every day for lunch. And although Lily never said it out loud, she thought Selma's sandwich was a little bit weird and yucky. She felt terrible that her friend had to eat that icky chickpeas paste every single day. Ew, yuck. And although Selma never said anything out loud, she thought Lily's sandwich looked strange and gross. She felt it was awful that her friend had to eat that gooey peanut butter paste every single day. Ew, gross. Then one day, Lily just couldn't hold it back, those pesky thoughts any longer. Your sandwich looks kinda yucky, she blurted out. What did you say, Selma asked, thinking she must have misunderstood her friend. I said, your sandwich looks yucky. Selma frowned. She looked down at the thin, soft bread, and she thought of her beautiful, smiling mother as she carefully cut Selma's sandwich into two near halves that morning. Her hurt feelings turned mad. Yeah, well, your sandwich looks gross and smells bad, too, Sal Salma snapped back. Lily looked surprised. She sniffled the thick, squishy bread, and she thought of her dad and his silly apron whistling as he cut Lily's sandwich into two perfect triangles that morning. Lily scowled. It does not smell bad. Does too. Ew, yuck. Ew, gross. That afternoon, the friends did not draw pictures together. They did not swing together, and they did not jump rope together. The next day, Selma ate her lunch at one table, and Lily ate her lunch at another. Meanwhile, the peanut butter versus hummus story had spread, and everyone began choosing sides. Each side had something not nice to say to the other. Peanut butter breath, jelly heads, garlic breath, chickpea brains. Pretty soon, the rude insults had nothing at all to do with peanut butter or hummus. You're weird. You're stupid. You look funny. You dress dumb. And then it happened. Somebody yelled, Food fight! Peanut butter and hummus sandwiches and other lunch favorites began flying back and forth between both sides of the lunchroom. They stuck to the walls. They stuck to the ceiling. They stuck to the lunch lady. When the sandwiches were all gone, pudding cups and applesauce and carrots, sticks took flight. Salma and Lily looked at one another from across the rowdy, splattered room. They both felt ashamed by what they saw.
They both felt really ashamed when the principal called them into her office after they had helped clean up the mess. The following day, Salma set her lunch down across from Lily's. The two girls nibbled on their sandwiches in silence. Finally, Lily got up the courage to speak. Would you like to try a bite of my peanut butter and jelly? Salma grinned. Sure, why not? Would you like to try my hummus and pita? Lily laughed. I'd like that. On the count of three? Okay, on the count of three. One, two, three. Mmm, yummy. Hey, this is delicious. And this is heavenly, the girls giggled and hugged and traded sandwiches. After lunch, Salma and Lily went to the principal again. This time, they were there to su suggest a very special event for the whole school. A long page. And that's how it began, with a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, and it ended with a hummus and pita sandwich. So, I hope everyone liked that book. What did you guys learn from this book today? I also want to ask everyone, what do you guys eat for lunch every single day? And what's your favorite thing to have for lunch? The next book we're going to be reading is about a question I think we should all be asking our friends. And that is, where are you from? By Yamil Saeed Mendes, illustrated by Jamie Kim. Where are you from, they ask. Is your mom from here? Is your dad from there, they ask. I'm from here, from today. Same as everyone else, I say. No, where are you really from, they insist. I ask Abuelo because he knows everything. And like me, he looks like he doesn't belong. Where am I from? Abuelo thinks. His eyes squint like he's looking inside his heart for an answer. You come from the Pampas, the open free land, he says. You are from the Gaucho, brave and strong, from the brown river that cleanses and feeds the land, that gives us the grain for our bread, the milk from the cows. You're from mountains so high they tickle Senor Cielo's belly. Where the condor roosts his family and the jaguar prowls the night. But you're also from the warm blue oceans the copper warriors tried to tame. And the elegant palm trees that stretch their fingers to caress. You're from hurricanes and dark storms and a tiny singing frog that calls the island people home when the sun goes to sleep. From this land where our ancestors built a home for all, 
even when they were in chains because the color of their skin. You're from the grandmothers who search for their grandchildren waiting, always waiting in the plaza, their white handkerchiefs wrapping the sorrow of their thoughts. You come from the sunshine that lights our path in this world and the rain that washes away our mistakes. But Abuelo, I ask, where am I really from? Abuelo laughs. You want a place? He points to his heart. You're from here, from my love, and from the love of all of those before us. From those who dreamed of you because of a song sung under the Southern Cross, or the words in a book written under the lights of the Northern Star. You? You are from all of us. I am. This is my favorite book that we've read today because I think the pictures are so beautiful and I really, really like the message. Where are you all from? Can any of you tell me something about your family or what you value from your heart? I was so happy to have you all here today. If any of you have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below, or please visit the Intersections website and post a comment on the blog. On the blog, you can also see what other activities Intersections has going on, and you can compare with other people about how you're feeling about the episodes. Please, in the comments, also leave any feedback you all have about how the quality of this video was, and please like and subscribe if you'd like to see our videos more. I had such a great time reading with you this time, and I look forward to what we'll learn next episode. So long, everyone.